This is a 2019 Nissan Rogue, and today we're going to be changing the windshield wipers on it. Now, this is going to be a pretty quick video, because gratefully, putting windshield wipers on the car is a pretty straightforward affair. Um, I really want to just get this out there, because it's in the middle of winter, and I was noticing a lot of streaking going on in the windshield. So I want to just help anyone that's having similar issues, um, seeing either streaking or just not seeing windshield wipers that are doing all the work that they need to. Um, good news, just to get things started, is any auto parts store or other store that you might be buying windshield wipers at, you can actually, often they have a helpful manual to look up the size of the exact windshield wiper fit. So in this case, we're going to be working with a 26 inch on the driver's side, which is our main blade, and a 17 inch, which is a smaller one on the passenger side. To move things along, all you got to do, if you've ever washed your windshield wiper at a gas station, you know this move. So we're going to move those up. Now with the wipers up, we're going to go ahead and prep our windshield wipers. A lot of times, oh, I'm going to unpack this as we talk here. A lot of times uh, windshield wipers, they do come with the different adapter kits. So something like this or other types of connections. Gratefully with this car, we don't need to use these. I say gratefully because it can often be tough to figure out what exactly fits. What we're working with in terms of these windshield wipers, I'll take the I'll take this one off actually, which to do that, you just gotta extend it out a little bit and it's a J hook. I'm gonna totally bash my fingers as I do this. So I apologize in advance. It's given a little force pulling down. And it's called a J-hook because, as you can see, it has a J-shaped hook there. So these, um, as, the, as the windshield wipers come, they already have the correct adapter installed. So you don't need to worry about swapping out the adapter. So I'm going to take this driver one off, put it off to the side. I'm going to take our new one. Sometimes, uh, depending on the windshield wiper you get, it has a protective sheath to it. So be sure to take that off. And it is good to just double check, make sure that, um, I'm sorry, the lighting's a little poor here. Just be sure you do have the J-hook connector there. If you don't know which one you have, there's always an instruction manual that comes with windshield wipers, tells you the general directions that you need. But again, we're working with the J-hook here. So taking the new blade, all we gotta do is just line it up, clip it right back on. Simple as that. Give it a little bit of a wiggle, just be sure you have the right connection there. And then we are set there. Now on the passenger side, we're going to do the same motion. So again, just get a good grip on this. Give it some force. Try not to bash yourself too much. There we go. If you get bloody knuckles off of this, you're doing it right. Don't worry about that. Now this is the new blade and we're going to line it up. That's the cat going in between the shot, which she's been doing during all my takes. There we go. We have the passenger blade nice and secure. And just like that, we have new windshield wipers installed and ready to go for whatever weather is ahead. One thing also to shout out in case you are concerned that you might have bought the wrong windshield wipers, sometimes it's an easy mistake. You can take, in this case, I'll take the old windshield wiper. You can take the new as well. And even out in the um, parking lot, <laughs> once you bought them, you can just stack it up right next to it. That's a really quick uh, eye check way to make sure you got the right windshield wiper. But we'll throw out the old ones and the new ones are ready to go. In general, um, honestly, I don't really recommend one brand over the other. I bought new, like very expensive windshield wipers that have worn out in a year. I've had cheap budget ones that have lasted a couple of years. So in general, I go with whatever one is on sale, <laughs> if I had a recommendation there. But definitely something super easy to do on this car also helps improve your visibility a lot, especially when the weather is inclement. Hope this video helped out. Um, if there's anything else, as we're just breaking in more of this car, anything else that you guys would find helpful, please feel, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.